Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We'll be covering everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we'll be give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. Let me get into this topic here. Went on a little break, and there was a lot of stuff being said, and I just couldn't believe it when I saw Nick Wright um, say this. Now, y'all know we try to be as impartial as we can in the majority of the videos that we make because we know that people will not take us seriously if we turn into homers. Once you get past a certain point where you support a player and then you just turn into like a fanboy of that player, whenever you try to make points about that person, people don't take you seriously. At least I don't, right? Because we're like, okay, wait a minute. Are you saying this? Are you only being nice to this guy because he's your friend? I don't see how befriending the people I talk about helps our content in any way, shape, or form. I'm not, I'm not like reporting, I'm not breaking stories. I'm not Adrian Wojnarowski, so I don't need to be breaking trade news and all of that different stuff. So I don't I, I, I don't see how that really helps me. My, and, and this is just my view, right? This is just my view. Now, there are a few voices out there uh, that talk about sports that are directly connected to the people that they talk about. There are a few people out there, for example, you could think of Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp is openly close with uh, LeBron James and his camp. There are pictures of him out there. He knows all of them. Uh, Skip Bayless ten, uh, tends to like allude to that during different segments of the show. Like, you know, you're, you know, R R Maverick and Rich Paul, these guys are going to be upset with you. So that's, uh, everyone knows that. Steven Jackson knows that, the former moderator of the show. Uh, she knows that. And of course you have Nick Wright, who's openly close to Rich Paul, who's the agent of LeBron James. Nick Wright said it on TV a few days ago. He's like, I'm very close with, the, you know, Rich Paul and all of these different things. So there are people out there that have made it very clear that they have close and personal relationships, uh, you know, with certain players. And I think due to that fact, it causes them to say outlandish things while trying to pat their favorite player or their friends on the back. This is what generally happens. But what I heard from Nick Wright a number of days ago, one or two days ago, during a segment, um, totally totally blew me away what they were talking about was who who was like the best athlete of all time they were trying to compare tom brady and all of this stuff and nick wright has said some crazy things in the past but what i think he said in this particular take this may be his mona lisa like this right here may be his most outlandish take ever on the heels of Tom Brady's retirement, Nick Wright took it upon himself to make a case for his favorite player as the greatest athlete of all time. So before we go too far, take a just take a listen to what this guy had to say. Take a listen to this here, and we're going to come back and give you guys our thoughts. You said a few things there that I think are just wrong. You said Brady's going to retire with far more impactful or important records. What could be a more important individual record than the all-time scoring title, which LeBron will have? He already has the most of everything in the playoffs. By the way, Brady has the same things. So as far as all-time statistical records, I think Brady and LeBron, I think that is a check and a check. It's a tie almost. What LeBron, though, has been able to do everywhere he has gone and independent of coaching far outshines what Tom Brady was able to do. Tom Brady won six Super Bowls with the greatest coach ever, won another one with a coach who had already been to a Super Bowl previously, a very good coach. LeBron yeah. James went to the finals with Mike Brown, then with Eric Spolstra, then with David Blatt, then with Ty Lue, then with Frank Vogel. What all five of those guys have in common is none of them ever sniffed the finals before LeBron walked into their lives and one would argue, aside from Spo, none of them would ever sniff a, sniff a finals again post-LeBron. Ty Lue pr actually probably could. He came close last year. But before LeBron got there, those were not all-time great coaches. Additionally, if we are going to do the, yeah, but one guy won seven rings, the other guy won four, what we must acknowledge in Wilds, I'm going to put you in a little logical vice here because in your old it. baby goat, uh, stuff all year, you kept making a point. Yeah. And it was a good one. That first Super Bowl the Patriots won, was Tom Brady the driving factor? Was Tom Brady great? No. Or did he have one touchdown the whole playoff run? That's the first Super Bowl he won with the Patriots. <clears throat> the last Super Bowl he won with the Patriots. Was Tom Brady amazing in that game? No. Let's hear it. They scored 13 points. No. It was Belichick and the defense. Has LeBron James ever had the ability, I stunk, but we got the ring anyway. Nope. 
if he's ever not excellent, his team doesn't win. It would be like if the That's 2011 right. finals, LeBron had his moment, but they won anyway. Even the most recent Super Bowl, Brady was excellent in the Super Bowl, no doubt about it. But in the game to get there, he threw three yeah. second half interceptions, and his team bailed him out. So that doesn't that's not able to happen in basketball because you got to play both sides. You, you got to play both ends of the court, obviously, all of it. And LeBron didn't never had a decade long gap without winning a title. So I think on the court, forget off the court, where I think we all agree on the court, LeBron's resume to me is clearly the most impressive, I would argue, ever of any athlete. But certainly, if we're going to say of this century, here's what's mind boggling about what he said. I think in my heart, I'm beginning to believe that I think Nick Wright actually believes what he's saying, which is scary. This dude said that like as if he was saying something credible. I, I mean, I couldn't believe what he was saying. He believes that LeBron James had a more impressive career than Tom Brady in their respective. Who says stuff like this? How do you expect people to take you seriously when you say crazy S-H-I, you know what, like this? Uh, I wish I could curse. I would love to curse right now. Who would take you seriously? In typical LeBron James fan style, he totally disrespected everyone that was connected to the guy just to elevate him. This is the problem. He totally dismissed all of his coaches, with the exception of Tyron Lue at the end. Tyron Lue, he was just a guy. Like the guy that has, I believe, the Clippers in the eighth seed in the Western Conference right now without their two best players. He's just a guy. Frank Vogel, Eric Spolstra. These are just guys. It's like the coaches had nothing to do with it. You guys don't understand just how great LeBron was. But the most egregious part of all of what he said is when he said he arguably, listen to this, he arguably has had the best career of any athlete of all time. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. First of all, let's talk about basketball. Yeah, LeBron would have the best career of any NBA player if uh, Kareem didn't play, if Michael Jordan didn't play, if Bill Russell didn't play, if Kobe Bryant didn't play, if Tim Duncan, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, he would have the most impressive career, for sure. But when he said, of all time, of all time, meaning of all the athletes that have ever played in their respective sports, he believes that this guy has had the best career of, you are smoking something hot, if you think that. So hold on a second. Hold on a second. Have y'all heard of people, let me just, let me just enlighten the audience, maybe some viewers may be a little bit myopic, maybe maybe they might not have a, 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 a you know, a, 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 an expansive worldview. Let's take this thing to an international level, since he said he believes that he may have the best career of any athlete ever. Okay, have you ever heard of, an, uh, uh, of people like Cristiano Ronaldo? Have you ever heard of him? Cristiano Ronaldo, who is by far, not by close, by far the most popular person probably on planet Earth. He became the first person on Instagram. Think about this. This guy has 400 million followers. For my American audience, for my American people that watch the video, if y'all don't know who Cristiano Ronaldo is and you call yourself a sports fan, you're not really a sports fan. However big your favorite athlete is, this guy is at least two, three times bigger than that guy. This guy has 400 million followers on Instagram. He is beyond. Okay. Have y'all heard? Of, have you ever heard of Nadal? Have you heard of Serena Williams in tennis? Have y'all ever heard of Serena Williams? Have you ever heard of Muhammad Ali? Have y'all heard of Usain Bolt? who totally dominated, dominated the sport of sprinting. Have you heard of uh, Usain Bolt before? Have you ever heard of Pele? Pele. Have you ever heard of Messi? Have you ever heard of Tiger? There's, and, and so many other athletes. And for you to come out there and say that you believe that LeBron had an arguably a better career than Tom Brady, which is the most foolish thing you could say. And then to say arguably of all time, who said that? I don't even know what to say about this dude, man. And this, this, this right here is is the is is it the is it the heart of the issue that I have with some LeBron fan? Y'all take it to y'all be saying crazy stuff, man. Y'all be saying ridiculous stuff, stuff that has no merit. You just say it 
because you like your guy, you come out. Y'all are the only fans that do this. Y'all just come out here and start saying things. Like who would take you serious? And then you're trying to have a, a straight face about it. Tom Brady has seven Super Bowl championships. Seven. Uh, Michael Jordan has six. Kareem has six. Bill Russell, I think, has 11. You're going to bypass all of these guys and for what? Just to go out there and say, oh, th this, th this is what I'm saying. The twerking never stops. People come to our channel. They twerk it up in the comment section. You turn on the TV. They twerking it up on TV. And I'm not supposed to say anything. If I say something, I'm a hater. So what that make you? You a troll. If you're saying all of this, you're a troll. People can't take you seriously. And to me, I think, to me, I think it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. And I was literally floored when I heard this. So what I want to know from you guys, number one, do you think his comments are disrespectful to Michael Jordan? And number two, do you think it's disrespectful to all the other great athletes out there for Nick Wright to come out there and say that, oh, LeBron, <sighs> whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section later, a comment section. I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Have a good one. Peace.